What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna install Sherry's Valentine's Day gift that I got her. Um, in the last video, we did the Super ATV rock sliders and that's what she got me. So, we got her a winch. It's long overdue. Um, we've avoided some areas because she doesn't have a winch. So now we'll be good to go. That's what we're working with. 4,500 pound Can-Am winch. Got all the wiring. Um, I took her synthetic rope off of this winch because it was okay. gray. And uh, I got her the red one. Cause I didn't want a red one on mine and I switched mine over from cable to synthetic we'll open this bad boy up go to switch some breakers old tether and the remote which we probably won't use I didn't I never hooked mine up I haven't needed it That's for the remote. Comes with the hardware, the hook, the rubber stop. Nice and shiny. Let's get this one out. Right there it is. Can't wait to use it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it'll get put to use a lot. And the last thing we have looks like kind of like the uh, like a junction box. I think this goes on the uh, accessory bars inside the kick panel. So we're gonna get all this opened up. We're gonna get all the uh, uh, hardware open and we have her seat out I'll take you over there we took the seat and the kick panel off so we can get in there the uh, wiring is going to come from the front back to this little accessory bar that can -Am puts in here um, we probably won't bore you too much with some of the wiring we'll show you some of it that way if, if you need to know how to do this you'll have a, a good idea on it but we'll get everything unpackaged uh we'll probably bolt the the winch up first and we'll get the the synthetic rope hooked up to it and uh we'll go from there we'll catch you guys back here in a second all right we got everything ready to go i think uh, i just wanted to jump on here and show you the synthetic rope Probably hard to see, but we wrapped tape around it and then pushed it down through here and back up through here. And there's a little set screw that you tighten down, obviously, to keep it from coming out. But uh, Sherry has the front piece on here bolted down. So what we're going to do now, uh, since it's just me and her today, um, it's probably not going to be able to film pushing this in and uh, holding it up getting it bolted so we're going to cut to the winch being in there and bolted down and then we'll come back and uh, we'll start hooking up some wiring all right we got it bolted in got the rope fished out through the front put it in from this side over here might be a little hard to see but there's four bolts back there that it gets bolted to and we're bolting this to the uh, pre-runner front bumper so if you guys don't have a bumper then you're gonna have to get one because uh, unless you have the uh, RC or XMR but we're getting the wiring ready now um, once we get the wiring hooked up we'll show you a couple clips of that and we'll get moving all right so we're going to take these two positive and negative wires and get a good look in here. 
so you can see that one has yellow tape on it and on the winch there's a yellow grommet so obviously yellow to yellow now we're going to run cables up through here and in through the center you can see right here and that's where we're going to run these and then we'll go on to the inside but we took this cover off here and uh fishing these wires through and then we'll bring those back through here and they're going to get hooked into this crazy contraption sherry put most of it together these two will get bolted in there to the accessory panel and then these wires from the winch are going to come up and they're going to bolt onto these and then from here there's more wires that plug into this that go to your switch panel so we're going to get some of that figured out we'll get some of it mounted and we'll come back and show you what we did all right guys so we finished the wiring for the most part i'll show you what we have right now but we got this box boarded in got the wiring hooked up for the switch uh you can see might be a little bit hard to see because of all the other wiring in there but this goes back on there we have the wiring run up through there up into there i'll take you around the other side and show you comes around this plug right here gets plugged into your accessory which is probably a little bit hard to see but that's your accessory plug that comes standard with the can-am and you can buy a piggyback if you already have something plugged in yeah that gets plugged in there and then this goes up into your dash there and uh that's where your winch switch goes and that pretty much sums up that part of the wiring so we're going to get the switch in the dash we're going to get the kick panels on and we'll come back to show you if it works or not all right so right there's the switch we pulled the dps switch that was there and uh swapped it out for the the winch switch because that's where she wanted it and we're gonna give her a go and see if it works oh yeah it worked <laughs> um we're gonna go ahead up or go ahead and wrap this up get it wound up and uh, we're going to call it a day for the video. And hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for uh, subscribing. If you're not subscribed, hit the button. We have a lot of good trips coming up this summer. Hopefully you don't want to miss that. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.